Hello, Libra. Thank you so much for being here. Welcome to your weekly love reading. I decided they are timeless because it just feels right. So welcome to your timeless love reading. We're going to start with the angel answer card. This card will answer whatever question you have at the end of the reading. Oh, there's two. <laughs> Sorry. You know I have Libra in my chart, so whenever, whenever there's something cool, I'm like, oh, wow. It's like spoiling myself. So, Libra. Oh, wow. So, I guess Libra, look what we got. Separation, time apart from your partner is on the horizon. Okay, then. I guess, uh, let's see. Now, this implies that you have someone in your life that you're separated from. If you don't have someone... Maybe check your Booney Horizon or just let's see how this plays out. Let's see. Let's get some cards for Libra. Oh boy. Ha ha. Well, first card I see is the Empress, the mother of all the Zodiac. Wow. The Queen of Wands and the Page of Pentacles. Wow. That's a lot of energy. A lot of energy, Libra. Now, if you're like me and you have fire sign in your chart, this could also be you, uh, or it could be you having the fire sign energy. Now, keep in mind the Empress is uh, could be your perfect partner, the partner you see having a family with, because she is the mother of all the Zodiac. But she is very capable. She is, you know, bountiful. She's pregnant with child. There's lots of um, vegetables growing around her. She is abundant in all ways. Um, and the Queen of Cups, she wants what she wants and she's not afraid to go after it. The Page of Pentacles could be dealing with, uh, so Libra, you could be dealing with a fire sign. Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius could also be dealing with a younger earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, who or there's someone who's making an offer, possibly a fire sign. So let's clarify that because that would say that the fire sign sees you as the perfect partner for them. Here they are, right? Um, it doesn't have to be doesn't have to be male, female. It could be male, male, female, female. It's really perception, your interpretation, uh, gender wise. Um, and here we go. Could even be you know male, female. Doesn't matter. But this could be a fire sign who sees you as their perfect partner, Libra, and wants to make an offer. Let's see. Either that or I don't laugh. All I could think of is learning about you because the Page of Pentacles sometimes is about learning. So let's, let's tell us more for Libra. What do you get here? Yeah, Five of Wands. And, you know, I said learning. Now, don't laugh at me, but... With the five of wands sometimes, I think that, did you ever somebody like, what is the expression, poke the bear? They, they prod you because they want to see how you respond. I don't feel this is a bad energy. I kind of feel like it's a good energy. Um, let's, let's find out about this five of wands. I am going to clarify only because we did get the separation card. Clarify the five of wands for Libra. <laughs> Ten of cups. I'm telling you. This to me is, it's like a, a test. That's what I feel like this this uh, Five of Wands is. It's a test. Because when you clarify the Five of Wands with the Ten of Cups, this is a person who might like to be a little combative. And I always say I'm combative. I have Aries in my uh, chart. And the way it shows up is I do tend to be a bit combative. And I don't know why it takes that many cards. but So to me, this might be someone who, if you argue with someone... They may actually like it. Um, I have to find out more about the separation. Tell us about the separation because it, this is, it was loud, there's two whole separate different readings here. Tell us about the separation for Libra. Wow, 10 of Pentacles. So the separation could be from a relationship that you've been in in a while. Really? We're gonna keep going with this. Tell us more. Separation. King of Cups, water signs. So 
<laughs> wow. So I'm getting... This separation could be... There's there's two readings here. There's got to be two readings because otherwise this is like... Uh, gets a, uh, like a... I don't want to be offensive to anyone. So I won't say that I was started to say, and I apologize. I don't mean to offend. But this to me is the separation. I, I don't know that the separation is necessarily for the bad reasons, you know. Uh, because look at this. The way he's sitting here, he's sitting on the edge of her bed. And he's holding his heart. So to me, it could be a separation, not for bad, but like... I know that, you know, if somebody is in the military, they could be deploying somewhere. So this separation may be because they have to do it for work or with what's going on in the world, they could be leaving for that. So this separation is not a lying, cheating, stealing. This is a separation of necessity, not of a lack of love. They still see you. Here we go. That's it. They still see you as their perfect partner. You may be pregnant, you know, and you may, you know, you may be telling them and you're kind of passionate about the whole thing. And, you know, you're saying, you know, you've got to do something here. You got to figure out what we're going to do. Maybe there's uh, some disagreements, but it all works out in the end and you are a happy family. And when I ask what you're separating, you know, what about the separation, you got the 10 of pentacles with the King of Cups. This to me is you're separating from your family. Um, possibly your, you know, your partner, uh, someone who is well uh, balanced emotionally and you have children together. So let's see, anything else you would like to tell Libra? Anything else for Libra? So this to me is definitely a reading for uh, someone who's with someone. So I'm going to pull, since we're not getting anything else for this, we're going to say this reading separate. And I'm going to, you know, take the angel answer cards, put them here. I'm going to pull a couple cards for single Libras. Ha, and as I said that, single Libras get the six of wands. This is uh, the Six of Wands in this deck is not a like a warrior coming back from battle. This is a commitment, a relationship. This is success. And it's interesting that I had said about battle because what I say about being deployed. So if you're single, you're going to be meeting someone. There you go. Who wants to work on a team? Maybe it's someone you work with, Libra. Someone who wants to work with you together. I like this. Yeah, could be a Scorpio, could have Scorpio in their chart. Um, they could, one or, you know, could be someone with an addictive personality, maybe a little codependence, but that's a decide. Or, ooh, Venus is uh, retrograde and doing some interesting things in some of, in our chart, I believe, and it is our chart ruler. So this could say that you decide to, do things a little differently on the devil. The devil can be uh, taboo things. We'll say taboo because I don't want to get in trouble. I don't know what I can or can't say. But you could decide to do things differently than other people will say. <laughs> and the judgment card is a decision that this is what you're going to do. And you're just going to run with it and have a grand old time. So you can decide that. So singles, I think that we got a great reading too. Look at that, Knight of Cups, an offer possibly from a, a water sign, and things getting better. So both readings are good. It's just the one you guys have to wait a little while for to be together again. But everything is going to go back to wonderful. So we got two angel answer cards. So what's your first question? Here's the answer. In the near future. What's your second question? Big, happy changes. Yay! Libra, so far, I think we have the best reading. Well, no. I think it's a good reading. <laughs> if you enjoyed the reading, give me a thumbs up, please. If it resonates, subscribe. And if you'd like, you can leave a comment. And I answer all comments. So 
I thank you so much for being here, Libra. You take care. Bye.